Hey Yacht Naughty viewers, uh, I know I've disappeared for a while and there's a good reason for that. Actually my husband recently passed. He uh, passed away January 31st and it was complications to that nasty flu that happened this season. And uh, it happened in a matter of a couple of weeks. So I'm sitting on our boat, Thunderball. We recently had it repainted, new sails, all kinds of new gear stuff. We were getting ready to go cruising or do the bah ha ha ha, but um, unfortunately that's not going to happen now. And the boat's up for sale, and if anyone's interested, it's going to be listed with Yacht Finders Windseekers in San Diego on Shelter Island, California. Very sad. Uh, I have to start a new life. I'm looking at getting another boat. I'm in the process of that. Uh, smaller boat, of course. I can't handle anything of this size. Um, I wish I could. I'd love to keep the boat, but uh, just ain't able to do so. Um, I don't know what else to say, but I would like you to follow my journey. Uh, I'm going to be a single gal, you know, doing the boat thing still, and if it gives hope for people that ever want to do something like this, if I can do it, by all means anyone can do it and uh, follow my journey and, and see the process of the boat selling and the acquisition of the new boat and uh, I'll keep everyone updated and posted. I'm still going to continue with the Galia Gogo -Go and all the uh, maintenance and all the stuff that I do on my new boat to make it homey. and for me and my my dog Chicklet. So stay tuned and I appreciate all your guys support and help and lovely comments and it's been great over the years and I apologize I disappeared for so long but I'm uh, still here. I'm going to show you the inside of the boat. I got it all cleaned up. Now I don't know don't know how it's kind of a dark day today. It's very foggy. So this is still our garage with some equipment that the boat's going to come with the radar. I can't mount it back on. Head. We are in the process of actually making a shower in here so it is a little ripped up. But everything is still pretty original. We didn't do much. We didn't change anything other than maybe make some additions. If you guys follow me, you'll know that we added these cabinets for clothing and blankets and whatnot. Here's the engine, the main salon. We have some more storage containers here, a locker, an anchor locker with some propane tanks in it right now. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the aft cabin. It's kind of dark. It's dark. Yep, you're not going to be able to see it. There's the nav station, dark. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the galley looking from the aft. And then I'm gonna show you what we did as far as on deck. Okay, here we go. We removed the teak railings because we were having issues with dissimilar metals with the uh, stainless screws going into the deck. So, and it, we were getting some leaking going into the aluminum and the honeycomb structure. So, we're in the process. A friend of mine, Daryl Cross, is filling this. And we're gonna do some repairs, sand that out, fair it out, add some more deck paint, fair that in. I had to bring the boat back out to the mooring ball. I just had to move it from the yard this morning. There we go. Of course, we added this Dodger a few years ago, but always kept a cover on it, so the Dodger, and the Integral Dodger itself is in perfect shape. And then here's, I'll show you the new paint job, but I'm gonna have to get down in the dinghy and show you, it's, it's completely awesome. And we also had a silhouette of an octopus sprayed in metallic gray paint, unbelievable. My husband didn't even get to see it too sad. Okay, here's the new paint job. I wish it was sunnier so you could see this better. <laughs> but 
but we painted it a really pretty gray tone with some browns in it. And look, there's the silhouette of the octopus in metallic. And it splits down both sides. There's the beautiful paint job. <laughs>